Hi, this is Jamie Ferguson, and this is The Service Design Show. In this special episode of The Service Design Show, we're going to give you a taste of what to expect at the upcoming Service Design Conference that is taking place on October 27th and 28th of 2016 in Amsterdam. My guest in this episode is Jamie Ferguson. Jamie is the design and foresight strategist at Idea Couture, and she told me she loves rooftop gardens and risotto in no particular order. So let's jump right in and ask Jamie to give us a preview of her talk. Welcome to the show, Jamie. Thank you, glad to be here. Um, can you enlighten us? What is the theme that you'll be talking about? Sure, sure, sure. Our workshop um, is called Living Prototypes. And essentially, it's really to engage exploratory thinking, visioning, and prototyping uh, for service and experience design upfront in the design process and also for use later on uh, in order to work back from. So the workshop is really a method that borrows um, thinking strategies from art and design um, for their multi sensory and experiential qualities. Um, so this is about prototyping, it's about narratives, um, any necessary objects that can bring us closer to engaging with complex, um, maybe conflicting ideas, um, all of the many possible scenarios that can exist and overlap um, as we begin to implement those into the process, um, into the design and the experience. Um, we're so often focused on the current state um, when we're exploring what the design might be. Um, and while we certainly uh, require those constraints, um, complementing this with like a very widely scoped insights and generative work upfront um, that can actually be refined later um, can be very fruitful. So we think this generates a very rich and empathetic and more intuitive visions of what the future state will look like uh, that we can work back from. Um, so doing this from a very multi-perspective and collaborative process can really bring us uh, the rich material that we're going to go through in the workshop. Right, okay, so that's, that's, a, that's an interesting pitch, but if I summarize this, this is basically learning people how to experience something uh, that isn't there uh, by prototyping. Yeah. Exactly, what are the strategies that we can use to engage with that kind of material yeah, yeah. Um, for things that don't exist yet? Yeah, and especially services, because we lo know a lot of about uh, product prototyping, product, product experiences, and I guess services are quite different Exactly. So yeah. we want to be able to pull from, from all of those things. Uh, like I said, it could be narratives. It could yeah. be headlines from the future. It could, it could be yeah. uh, acting out uh, a scene or something. Um, there's a lot of things that we can, we can do, but doing this together is important. What do you hope people will know or have learned after doing your work workshop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to encourage people, uh, my clients, my peers, uh, our colleagues, uh, with a different perspective that just really allows them to test out ideas that might initially seem counterintuitive to business as usual. Um, I know futures has been sort of the buzzword for a while now, but um, our institution's um, status quo hasn't really caught up with ways in which we can grapple with that, that we can really tangibly kind of wrangle that and hash that out and look at all the possibilities. Um, change is, is happening so quickly. So giving people ways to communicate that together from different perspectives, um, as, especially again around situations that are unknown to us. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I'm, I'm sure you do have some personal motivation or drive to address specifically this topic. Yeah, well, this topic and especially at this conference, um, I think it's important, incredibly important right now for people to think about the potential in the unusual, um, things that are astonishing, that seem uh, very different initially, 
they can make us feel uncomfortable. And that's actually probably a prerequisite for such things. It should be challenging. Um, I think we can learn so much with what's out there already. There are so many great ideas. Um, it's about looking at them collectively. It's about repurposing them, reusing them, comparing them, transposing them, looking at them in different ways. Um, I think this can be incredibly fruitful. Have, uh, um, is it still uncomfortable for you sometimes? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that's what I love about my work, that... Um, Every day, it's it's a different subject. Um, you know, no, we get to talk with great experts, um, but I get to be an expert in being a generalist, I guess. Mm. So um, I'm sure you're going to share a lot of uh, knowledge and insight that you've uh, gained in the past years on prototyping experiences. But I'm also sure you you do you must have a big question around this topic. Is there one? Yeah. Um, again, it has. I guess it has to do with complexity. Um, what's going to be so great about being at the conference is, of course, hearing this, how other people, um, my colleagues and peers, uh, from their perspective, in their different circumstances, how they've been able to or in what ways they've used similar tactics or very different ones to do similar or dissimilar things. Um, my, I think my main motivation is really figuring out ways that we can really connect these disparate, seemingly disparate and siloed ways of thinking um, to do something uh, really great. I think all the materials there, it's really, it's just latent. It's sort of waiting to be activated in the right way. So um, for me, it will be as much of a learning experience, um, what I can gain mm -hmm. from my colleagues. Mm -hmm. And and um, is there a certain certain like I said, the question you have, you hope to find answers to, or clues to? Um, As how yeah, to connect? Yeah, how to connect, um, giving people that ability or asking ourselves how we can um, kind of stretch that creative muscle in terms of generating and prototyping experiences um, in advance of like fully constructing them. Um, so, you know, what are the strategies from other disciplines that we can we can leverage to do so? Mm. All right. Um, final uh, question, Jamie. Um, you're going to Amsterdam, uh, the most wonderful city in the world. Um, <laughs> what, what is the thing you're looking forward to the most? Well, I am certainly looking forward to being in your beautiful city. Um, like I said, no shortage of great ideas, I'm sure, are going to come out of this conference. Um, being able to actually speak with colleagues in person, face to face, and have those conversations, um, good stuff always comes from these kinds of trips. So I'm looking forward to it. And plus the week's vacation that will follow. Don't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't cut anything out, but uh, it's okay. Jamie, uh, thanks for making the time. Uh, I'm really looking forward to meeting you in, uh, in Amsterdam and um, looking forward to a great workshop. Yes, I'm looking forward as well. Thanks for today. Thanks. If you enjoyed this interview with Jamie, I'd like to see more interviews. Be sure to check out some of the past episodes and subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn more about the conference, go to www.service-design-conference.com. For now, thanks for watching and hopefully see you in Amsterdam.